Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and I'm joined by Andy Jowett here, head professional at Glen Eagles. I'm gonna be doing a very special video today. So I've come down here, well, I've come up here after coming down from Aberdeen. And while on the way, basically Andy's allowed me to stop in here at the fitting center and do a few different videos. And the one that we're gonna be doing today is a shaft test. And we're gonna be using the TS3 club head. But Andy, what are the shafts we're actually gonna be trying out? So four different shafts, so uh, we've got the Kurakaga in stiff in mm. a 50 gram, Tensai Blue 55 gram in stiff, and then we step up to extra stiff, Hazardous Smoke uh, six, uh, 60 gram, and then even flow White in 65 gram. So if you've already seen the video of my TS3 fitting that I've already done, I prefer the Tensai, but it's in an X stiff shaft, but after that fitting, I kind of went away from it Still a little bit unsure about what difference the shafts were making between that and the even flow, which was the other one which I liked. But it was weird because I hit the smoke a couple of times and then literally like, well, I'm not sure I like the feeling of this. But I didn't really look at the data. I was just looking at it, not quite sure of the flight. So what we're gonna be doing is using TrackMan, so a different launch monitor, just getting some different data results as well. He's testing out these four shafts, all different weights, two in X, two in stiff and actually seeing if we can notice any type of difference. I've not really done a video like this before, so I'm interested to see the results. And Andy, you do fitting down here, you know kind of how this all works as well, which is great, so you're gonna be my guide. We'll do our best, yeah, absolutely. On this adventure that we're going to be taking here at Glen Eagle. So, let's hit some shots, let's gather some data, and then we will reconvene to have a little bit of a look at the results. Okay, first up is the shaft that I know. Uh, so this is the 6.5, this is the even flow, and this is the one that I was basically dabbling in between this and the, and the tent side during the fitting. So, I'm gonna blast away, I'm gonna throw out my feelings every now and again, yeah, I'm gonna share, I'm share, um, and then <laughs> let you know how they're feeling, how the flight looks, and then we're gonna be tracing them back on the track mat to see if there's any difference between spin rates, distances, swing speeds, and all the jazz. So I've had a bit of a warm up, Let's get smacking, shall we? I mean, let's get smacking. Sold. Just ripped out of the box. Sold. That's it, done. Why was I even considering anything else? <laughs> Clubhead here, by the way, with the TS3, it's cranked down from 8.5 down to 7.75? Yes. 7.75 yeah. is my precise loftage in the TS3. <laughs> Very nothing, specific. Nothing more, nothing less. Look at that. That was ripped. Andy, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, some launch and spin rate on that. Normally you just catch it slightly high off the face with this TS3. Just see the flight, how it's just like so, so one. flat. Again, you'd take that as the one that slightly miss it, wouldn't you? Smash yeah. down at 142. Like you say, launched it 16-1, but... Oh yeah. Got to say, that head and the ball speed off that head is... It's awesome. Yeah. It's very, very good. Makes some pretty nice reading, to be fair. I mean, those are the averages there. So the average spin rate there, one six, one six, sixteen hundred. Yeah, I mean that's scary. Super, super low spinning. Yes, I'm hitting up and strike wise, maybe a touch high on the face there, which would reduce that spin rate a wee bit. But that is low. That is low. Right, let's jump on to. Let's switch it up. Let's go to one of the normal stiffs. Let's go Kuraka. Spin rate up a bit, but launch fraction down on where the other ones were. So just that balance. Just that extra little bit, wasn't it? Just a little bit more through the air. Isn't it? <laughs> it's not the result I was expecting. No. That'll be interesting to see, because that was that high one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just tying the face. Oof, now that is the clubhead speed. I think that's the 
that's one of the big differences so far. So the spin rate has gone up yep. on decent strikes. Club head speed that has also gone up. But this is the lighter shaft. Lighter shaft, yeah. So you would expect to be able to move this that little bit quicker. So that is the that's a big difference so far. Okay. Now the smoke is the one that I discredited in my fitting. So I, I hit this smoke and I was I was not on board with it. I, it just felt weird, like it felt dodge. But Today's another day. I have the fresh air of Scotland <laughs> wafting through my lungs. It'll be interesting to see how the data relates to the feel look. Yeah, as well. very much so. Because it was the feel that I didn't like. So, yeah, I'm interested. Yeah, honestly, kids, smoking is bad for you. Yeah, yeah that one's not up there at all. Yeah, so the spin rate's actually quite good, around 2,000. Yeah, but launch yeah, angle's a little higher. I, I, don't, I don't know if this is now just in my head a little bit about this about this shaft just being a little bit more kind of unwieldy um, than I thought, but we'll complete the averages. I'm committed to a <laughs> fair and honest test. <laughs> but is it, what, what's the difference, do you know the, what the difference is between the smoke and the normal hazards? Is there any oh, so hazardous black, I think, is a little is a little bit stronger. Smoke's obviously the the next generation of that that's come out from hazardous black, hazardous yellow. Yellow was obviously back weighted a little bit more. Um, from the from the the black was almost I mean poker like in in some of the original ones. I don't get the why it feels so different. <laughs> It's almost like you're having to work hard to, I'm, I'm to feel that. I'm having to aren't? try and just control it. Like so, so much. So spin rates and strikes there were a little bit all over the place. My actual, what's my smash factor there? It must have, yeah, my lowest smash factor on average so far. Yeah. Uh, actually my highest spin rate, but I think that's probably down to strike. Yeah. More than anything, it was wandering around a little bit more. Club edge speed is the lowest it's been as well. So a ball speed, rem, rem, uh, yeah. markedly low, if you like. So we've seen in this test so far a shaft which seems to be very accurate and very low spinning. Yep. A shaft which was lighter. I could pick my club edge speed up, got a little bit more spin, and now a shaft that I just couldn't control I at all, which is interesting. And now we're going on to. The second lightest shaft and the only stiff flex in yep. the uh, Tensi, isn't it? Yeah, so, the Tensi blue. So final shaft, this is the Tensi blue in the stiff flex at 55 grams. This is the same shaft that I got fitted for, except in just the normal stiff. So this is the one I think I probably prefer the feel of as far as weight is concerned. We'll just have to see what it's like. I'd imagine that this would, again, spin a little bit more, I'd be able to swing it a little bit faster. And with this particular shaft makeup, maybe fly. A little yeah, bit, absolutely. Yeah, a little, a little bit higher, but yeah. again, we'll have to see. Oh, how weird is it though? How strange <laughs> is it that like the the feel and the flight on that was just straight away, just so much different. Yeah, I mean total distance straight off the bat. Club head speed definitely increasing with that though, with it being that light, slightly lighter shaft. Yeah, I mean that's the highest club head speed so far. Yeah. And longest distance. <laughs> I think you've made the right choice. Yeah, I think I don't <laughs> that's I think I made the right choice. <laughs> club head speed, that's the highest by over a mile an hour. Yeah. Ball speed, highest by over 1.5. Carry distance, highest by five yards. Right, so we've gone through to the shop and we're just going to talk through a little bit of this data. We've already done this, however, we're just getting that extra little bit of a deep dive now into what's been going on. What the? <laughs> there you go. See that? That was tailor-made, knowing, <laughs> understanding not that, the, not, the, not club, that. the club that we'd fitted and they were like, oh, I'm getting on this action. Unbelievable. <laughs> Can't think who the tailor-made <laughs> ambassador is. That's not... Oh, is that you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. 
So we'll have a little bit of a deep dive through this data. And I mean, the averages and what we were seeing actually on the range, and again, this is TrackMan rather than GC Quad and Foresight that was using previously. There's some differences here, first of all, in the spin rates. So the even flow, which was the stiffest, heaviest shaft, span less, which we'd expect. And that was one of the shafts that I was going to be fitted into. Interestingly, the smoke, which was only five grams lighter, pretty much the same stiffness as far as 6.5 is concerned, completely different feel. And I, I, you need to allow a little bit for maybe bias because I know that in that first fitting, I didn't like that shaft. So that's one thing to say. However, noticeably different as far as ball flight was concerned. Yeah, and you could see that you were actually having to try and work to feel the club and get comfortable with it. So it wasn't, it didn't seem or didn't feel as though it was comfortable in your hands at all. So it's an interesting one, that because that kind of goes into the realm of is that more data or is that just more feel? Because at the end of the day, if you don't like the feel of something, then the data as a result because of strike won't be as good. It's as simple as that, really. And, and that's what I found there. That is what I found. The interesting thing, really, was when we switched from the heavier shaft to the lighter shaft. So the swing speed went up pretty much straight away. Spin rate went up a little bit more. Kind of everything just increased that little bit apart from, or the most important thing really, overall <laughs> distance. Uh, so that wasn't quite as high. So if we get down to the nitty gritty of this, as far as kind of carry and total distance. So the furthest as far as total distance was concerned was the even flow. However, the furthest carry was the tensile, the one that I'm actually gonna go for. And that was one of the reasons why I'm gonna go for the 10 site anyway, because of that extra carry. And certainly on a nice dry day, the even flow would be going a hell of a long way, but certainly now we start to get into the autumn and generally in the UK, it's gonna be wetter. So that would be the interesting thing. But what did you take away from that as I was hitting shots, Andy? What do you think about all that? Um, it was interesting, ball flight wise, there was obviously there was a discernible difference. Even flow, a little bit more penetration to it, which you'd expect with that lower spin mm -hmm. rate. Um, however, tensai taking into account for the fact that that was stiff as opposed to extra stiff, which your swing speed yep. would, would generally lean towards, I thought that performed still reasonably well. I mean, mm -hmm. we had still quite a tight shot dispersion. The carry and the club head speed was noticeably higher with that slightly lighter shaft. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the spin rate, although a little bit higher, isn't it's not ridiculous. Look at the spin rate difference from the the even flow, 1600 average. I mean, that's in many cases, that's too low. Yeah, you know, that, 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 that's too low as far as spin rate goes. I'm, I'm always searching to try and lower spin on my driver, but that really, really kind of took the biscuit um, a little bit with that. So probably the best spin rate I got was from the, the Kurokaga there. With the yeah, absolutely, just, just, above, just above 2,000. However, having said that, even flow was actually, we launched that just almost a little bit higher, so you could afford to have the spin rate coming down a fraction. Mm. However, again, tensile-wise, good launch, reasonable spin, you would imagine that going from that stiff to X would just give you maybe just that little bit more out of it as well, potentially in the total distance. Yeah, interesting. So I'm, I'm happy we saw some differences there. I mean, my fear, because I've seen other shaft videos and sometimes it just doesn't seem to make any difference at all. But there was a definite difference as far as visually the ball flight was concerned and as far as what was happening with the data. And because it was the same club head, it was the same ball, it was the same everything we managed to get you know, a decent run of data here. So what do you think guys? Make sure you comment below, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and follow me on my other social media. Make sure you follow Andy as well and everyone here at Glen Eagle has been very kind to let me use the facility this morning. So guys, interesting, very, very interesting stuff. We'll see you down here next time.